Hey there guys, this is Trey James here to bring you guys a special little video where I'm going to be announcing my retirement from YouTube. Now before you get into a BJ Yankee twist and saying, Why did this happen? Who did it? Who's to blame? Um, it's really not anyone's to blame. It wasn't like the comment section that like, you know, tore me down after a while. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't actually the job hours or wasn't the job hours yet. I work on YouTube all day. <laughs> no. Um... It's basically just because my whole perception of YouTubing has changed, um, and as much as I do still like YouTubing, it just doesn't bring me as much satisfaction as it used to. So, because of that, I think I'm finally going to, you know, throw in a towel and just, you know, quit YouTubing. Um, I would like to say this is actually a shocking development, but this is not the first time I've quit, so, I mean, <laughs> I mean, for the very first time I quit, you can actually see my original video of that, and that's like, well, actually, you can't, I deleted it a long time ago, but basically, the reason why, I, 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 my different, the reason why I quit this time is much different than the reason why I quit last time, and I'll explain why, because I think it kind of does, it kind of goes into a little history of my channel and how, um, how my mindset was throughout this entire thing, and it might be, this might be boring to you guys, but to me, to me, I think it has to be kind of explained so you kind of get the mindset I'm in right now to kind of differentiate it from last time, so. Um, I, if you guys, if this is the first time you hear about it, yes, I actually did quit YouTubing before for like two weeks, actually. But it, it, um, that was a reason because when I originally started this channel, yeah, three years ago. Wow. Three years ago, that's been like... I've had this YouTube channel longer than I've been in school, in high school. That amazes me right there, but three years ago, my original mindset was that I was going to do YouTubing because I wanted to become famous. And, you know, I wanted to be this new top cool star to be like in the new rising YouTube ranks. Because this was about the time, to put, it, to put this in perspective, you know, the highest grossing YouTuber who he shall not be named, I guess, uh, of subs, the person who has the highest subs right now, he only had about 900k at that point. 900k subs. So this was still a time when it was still like everything was still rising. Everything sub people were just jumping out of nowhere. You know, people who had just a hundred, hundred, a hundred subs grew to like a billion in like a day. And that's no exaggeration, but you know, what I mean, it was in this very, very exponential time, and so. I was thinking that maybe, you know, I could become this new famous YouTube star. Um, but because of lack of different things, um, I, I don't want to go into them right now, but due to lack of different things, I did not quite succeed the way I wanted to. And because I did not succeed the way I wanted to, I felt like a disappointment and I felt like a failure. And that kind of transferred into some of my videos, which um, don't whatever you do, do not watch my beginning videos because they suck ass. I'm not even going to deny, they suck. So, yeah, but, um, basically, 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 I quit that original time because I felt like, you know, such a colossal failure than what my original goals were, you know, intending. And granted, I didn't have a bad YouTube channel at that time, and if I look back on it, for the, for the work we had actually put into that channel, and for the amount of time and stuff I'd actually gone through, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal. Well, I mean, I think we got lucky, but let, let me put it like that. I think we got lucky for the quality I have back then, than the quality I have right now. Looks like one of the goodness, but, um, yeah, so I quit the original time, and the only reason why I came back to the YouTubing was because of my friend and I bet you I told this story to my in my Shredder James Revenge story which is basically if my friend who at that time was also a very rising YouTube star um he quit later on but that's a different story but um he basically said all right I said he just kept bugging me saying you can't quit you can't quit you can't you you can't quit you can't quit you can't quit and I'm like all right you want me to quit so badly prove to me that I'm not just a failure Get me so and so amount of views and so and so amount of likes on my retirement video. I, ironically, if you get that, if you get that many views, so and so on that retirement video, then I will come back. Well, 
I didn't believe in my friend's power to actually gain a lot of people's support, and I came back. And that was a good thing too, because I learned a lot that for one you shouldn't for one you shouldn't go into something, you know. First of all, you shouldn't set your goals too high to the point where where if the little things like this and there will complicate it that, you know, you'll just be instantly crushed and you'll just keep feeling like a failure. And second, you should never go into something to achieve fame. You should always go into something to either try to appease somebody else or to try to make yourself the greatest ever. Never try, never try to seek validation through other people. I think that's what I was trying to do self-reflection wise. I think that's what I was trying to do and it was a bad idea. So, yeah. That's what happened, and so what? So that kind of changed once I came back the second time too. Once I came back the first time after my retirement, once he like got shocked me and my friends at you know, 100, 100k views, or I don't remember what the number was, but just that many people liked it and just all that. I came back with a moral perspective. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna make content because I like it and because other people will like it too. That was my new philosophy, and for a matter of fact. And you know, if I don't like it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the viewers, and if they don't like it, then I'm not going to do it anymore. But for the most part, I'm making this for me and my viewers. Not to become famous, not to become big at all. And for that new philosophy, it worked. It seriously worked. I love YouTubing, I s and the ironic thing is, is that when you actually stop trying to achieve your goal, <laughs> You actually achieve your goal. I mean, I achieved a moderate success, successful YouTube channel through just, you know, just saying I like this game, I like playing this game at this time, I like, you know, doing massive strategy games where it's an epic, 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 I, I, I was going to say epic again, but, um, yeah, it's just a massive strategy game where you just fight and do and die and it's so much fun. Oh, man, gosh, I love Paradox Games. Uh, you do all these different types of things, and, you know, people liked it. People liked me, they liked my style, they liked, you know, the different mannerisms that I portray inside myself. So, you know, it was fun and all, and I really did like it. I do like you guys. I love the fan base. I love you guys. I love you. Wait. There we go. I love you. I have to make sure your hand gestures are fine, otherwise it looks kind of weird. Like, you do this. Like, what what, what, what are you doing? Like, what, what is the guy trying to do here? Is he trying to be like, macho? Is blah, 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 blah. I don't know, it's just weird. That's why you always want to make sure the camera angles when you're trying to do like close up synchronization shots, they're good. Because otherwise, they're bad. <laughs> Simply put. So, yeah, that that's just basically so now you that's just basically a brief history of how I beginning how I began that and how that was my first time, you know, quitting. And that was about two years ago, I believe, actually. That was wow, two years ago. I, I, sorry people, this time flies by when you're in high school, <laughs> I just gotta say that. So, two years ago, and now we bring it to today's date. Well, why am I quitting this time? Um, well, to be quite frank, as much as I enjoy YouTubing, as much as it's still, I still hold that philosophy still dear to my heart, where I make content for me, I make content for you, and whoever hates me, you have your right to your opinion, I don't really give a damn, okay? But to bring it to bring it to the satisfactory level is that um, I just don't quite enjoy YouTubing as I used to. It's, I, I, I still love it, I still like it, I just feel that I just don't gain much out of it anymore. I mean, I think I think I basically I think I basically gone as far as YouTubing as I can go. That's sad for me to admit it. That's really sad for me to admit it because I love YouTubing. I love it at the bottom of my heart, but I think I've gone as far as I can go with this. And yeah, it, it was a fun ride. Um, oh, I should also mention how do I also kind of reach this conclusion because I had the same kind of feeling when I quit. When I quit um, doing, when I quit doing like my musical, uh, when I quit like doing musical instruments, you know, like there's a certain point. I bet everyone's done this in something or some other way. There's a certain point where you just you get as hard as you can, you work as hard as you can in something, but at some point you just plateau, and there's just nowhere else you can go with it, and there's just nothing else you can teach you. There's just nowhere else you can learn. You just reach that stagnant phase where it's just level. 
just level. I think I basically reached that point with YouTubing. I don't think I I don't think I can gain. Well, I could probably gain a lot more. I shouldn't say that. I just feel like I personally, my personal journey has reached an end. So also mention what's going to happen to the state of this channel now. Now that I'm going to be gone, well. Basically what's going to happen is that this channel is going to go to Brandon and if you guys don't know who Brandon is, look inside Brandon's playlist and you will know who Brandon is and basically at that point you guys can decide if you want to stay subscribed to him or if you just want to go away from him. Either way is fine with me, I really don't care, it's your personal decision. So, that's that's the real reason why I'm, I'm doing this. It's honestly not because I'm, it's honestly not because I'm burnt out or anything like that because I could honestly make a video today and be perfectly fine with it. I, I even had a video right now, you know, I was thinking about rendering to like give fans more uploads, but I, I believe I just can't, I have to be honest with myself, and I think this is the end of the journey. And for lack of a better word, this has been a fun journey. I loved every minute, well, most every minute of YouTubing. It's been fun looking at the analytics, the comments were always fun. Even the bad comments, I even liked the bad comments because it was always like, Oh cool, he's even he's that mad at me to even comment about me? <gasps> you know, just that and I loved I loved every moment spending with you guys. It was fun doing this YouTubing thing while it lasted. I from the bottom of my heart I hope all you guys have great and fulfilling lives. If we if we never meet again, if we never see each other again, if you ever, ever hear me again, yeah. This is quite frankly my final video. So well, thank you guys for watching. I won't see you next time, but goodbye.